Hey guys, it's me again. If you're familiar with the channel, uh, you might know that I am a Uber delivery guy. What you might not know is that I'm also somewhat of a skeptic about uh, big corporations and big companies like tech companies or any other companies as a customer and also as a partner here in this case with Uber. So while working for them with their services and everything I just was wondering and just doing my thing but like my brain couldn't stop just like checking being like mm -hmm. okay I'm making money here uh, they're also making a whole bunch of money but somewhat like there there's some there's sometimes a little catch you know like I'm not complaining I'm I'm happy about the service it's working perfectly for me right now I can do whenever I want and everything like it's very convenient but I'm, I'm always kind of like trying to look for it is there a little catch or is there like something that's actually like where it could be more fair for the people uh, who are actually struggling to work and working their ass off to just make a living you know and so I started investigating kind of thing like not really investigating but I was like oh, I had some kind of a back thought and I'm like I want to see is that true or not so here's that video uh, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you get some answers out of it let's go with a little intro <music> familiar with the uber eats app or the uber app in general i'm just gonna uh, explain a little something uh, especially during the weekends here in melbourne sometimes in special events or like if there's a holiday and things like that they'll make a promotion kind of thing like giving you 10 percent and it can increase if there's like a, a, a higher demand or uh, too few drivers and you have like zones where you can just make a bit more money than usual usually it's around 10 percent can go up to 20 percent from what i've seen here i've never been over 20 percent so far there's a lot of people do people doing deliveries here so because there's so many people it's just it's kind of like balancing itself but i mostly work during the weekend because of that 10 percent more and as I like always work for that 10% because it's just, it makes a better living uh, in the end. Uh, and I get better like hour rate kind of thing. I was just like wondering like, is it actually like, are they somehow finding ways to maybe avoid giving us that 10% if they can? That thought mainly came because of my situation that I uh, work every now and then on the border of those zones. So I'll show you on the app because uh, I did some recording of my phone. I'll show you on the app. There's like that red kind of like squarey, like uh, octagonal or like hexagonal, whatever math thing. And it's just, uh, when you, I, I had that feeling that whenever I would arrive next to one of those border, I might get, I was more likely to get a request to just send me back where the promotion is not. And also the zone I'm right now here is outside that promotion zone, that the, the usual promotion zone that we have in Melbourne. And I think from what I remember at the beginning, it used to be a promotion zone and they just kind of like change it more east than north so i'm like north from the city and now it's like they expanded 
east the promotion zone but they cut out like the north part which in a way like i feel it's not that fair because there's actually some pretty big neighborhoods here in melbourne up north like brunswick uh, and north coat where it's actually kind of busy with uber eats and now we're not if if we're in those zone we don't get the 10 percent and I, I was like yeah i was like there it's not it's not really cool but anyways like they probably have their reason and there's like their computing or buffeting and whatever so i was i was kind of like already convinced of that because of what happened a bunch of times and everything and i went at it kind of like the wrong way if you're like a proper study doer and like a scientist like if you want to have an object I, I didn't i was not objective when i started my research is what i mean is what i want to get to so i started recording my uh, screen every now and then mainly like i said whenever i would head to one of those zones so when i what i discovered also by doing that is that it, it's actually it has to be the restaurant you if, if you're not in the zone but the restaurant where you need to pick up is in the zone you're getting the 10 percent but I, I every like every time I would leave home, the zone would be already there. Usually, if it's a, uh, around midday, it's like from twelve to two p.m. So I would head after twelve. I would leave my house after twelve, head to the zone, and see like are they trying to draw me back in out of the zone? Uh, I did that a bunch of times. Uh, I would get. Uh, like it, it was kind of mixed, you know. I was I, I was having a hard time gathering evidence that it was actually happening, which was the first sign to be like, okay, you're just dreaming about it. It's not happening. But I don't know. A bunch of time it happens and everything, and it was also like, oh, maybe it's a less busy day or things like that. I was I was not always sure, and I was just like kind of like very convinced that it was happening. Uh, it's also. The, one of the reasons why I was convinced it was happening because when I was living in the center, I would just like go out when it's full red, like should be busy as hell, and I would just be there for like 30 to 45 minutes, no request at all, being like in the center around like a whole bunch of restaurants and everything. And it would be like, why is it even a promotion time? Which will, which I would get back on by like those kind of like schedule that they work out for those promotions but so i just kept going obviously because i was kind of biased i would like do those recording on my phone and i would keep the one that showed my point and kind of like delete the one that didn't show my point because i just wanted to show my point basically like i said i was pretty biased and not very objective in that manner of gathering evidence another test that i would also do uh concerning those like kind of hour thing is like if I, if i was out on a midday shift that ends at 2 p.m when it's like uh 1 58 like two minutes before 2 p.m i would just like start recording my screen and check okay am i actually like gonna not get any requests and then when it's when it's like after two and the promotion is ended am i gonna get like a whole bunch of requests because they just like stop which to me actually i don't want to put thoughts into uber's mind probably never gonna watch it i'm very small on youtube right now but it's like it's it would actually because those companies they have like a responsibility to make more money it's like the fiduciary concept of them to me it would actually in a way make sense to just okay the client who's waiting for his food, if it's like 30, like one minute to 30 seconds late, then they won't bother. So I would kind of like, if I was that, like, if I was one of the project manager and I would ask my like developers to be like, okay, so you find a way to hold those deliveries because it's going to make us more money basically. And it wouldn't be fair to the people or the partners, but it would help you saving money which is like i said it's, it's the point of those big corporations so i was actually surprised very much by when i did those over observation because a whole bunch of times i just recorded didn't get anything then uh, the the promotion stops and then i just keep 
getting nothing and then like maybe 10 minutes later i'll get something which is like very much a sign of like okay there was, there was just no work for that period of time but once and actually maybe not even twice but i think i only filmed it once i was like completely like it was completely the opposite like it was like 30 seconds before the promotion ended and i just got a request and i was like okay so my theory is just completely destroyed they're not doing it like i was pretty sure about it like to me it was like legitimate evidence of my bias and that what i was thinking was happening was actually not happening on another point which is about those hours that they set for like when people are eating which in a way makes sense so like mainly the two shifts is like from 12 to 2 p.m it's actually like here it's 11 15 i'm in like about 45 minutes i'm gonna head out and do my uh, midday shift here because it's sunday and I, there's like that 10 percent incentive and uh, the evening one would be from 5 p.m to 8 p.m uh, at first when you look at it it seems like okay it makes sense like it's when people are eating for the 12 to 2 p.m i don't have too much of an argument although not a lot of people actually order food at 12 p.m to me as i like i kind of like like to be prepared and like see kind of like things in advance i would be the type of guy if i had like an office job or whatever or was if i was using uber eats i would like probably order my food at 12 p.m in order to get it at 12 30 which would be like a decent time to or to to get to to eat to according to me but i feel like it's more like people order actually at 12 30 and get their food like around 12 37 uh or 12 45 depending on how long the thing is but yeah so it's actually it's it tends to not be very busy from 12 to 12 30 and then you got an hour and a half of very busy and sometimes after 2 p.m it's quite busy but i would say it's more busy after 2 p.m from 2 to 2 from 2 p.m to 2 30 p.m than it is from midday to uh to 12 30. i'm gonna make i'm gonna try to like make some kind of like schedule shift and like just kind of like some animation i'm uh, it would be a first for me to just make something like that but i'm gonna try to do it to just so that it makes more sense for you in this video and also like like i said for the 12 p.m for the midnight midday shift it's kind of the case but like uh it's not 100 percent true like it's not it's not like i haven't like really felt it strongly i kind of feel like from 12 to 12 30 there's not much work but it kind of like depends on the day but i'm really really convinced about the fact that from 5 p.m to 5 30 even sometimes 6 p.m there's just nothing like even like i said i was once in the center or things like that to me the real problem about that incentive thing is that it they should shift the at least the afternoon the evening shifts by half an hour and it would make much more sense and it would help us the reason why i believe they're not doing it is because they see us all the partners are kind of like we're their fleet of delivery people and they manage us by giving us requests and send us here and there and their algorithm is just making the most out of that fleet to just get deliveries done and in satisfied the most customer possible but what they want is they want people to be out and ready at 12 30 because they know it's when they're gonna start getting like a whole bunch of orders so they actually start that incentive at 12 because it will get those people out me like I, I i'm not out at 12 usually like i start getting out of my house at 12 because i know about that now but i'm pretty sure that's the way they see it and also once you've gone out you started your shift you're doing your thing then after 2 p.m 
you finish you, you for example you get one, one right before 2 p.m you do it you finish it at 2 like 10 past 2 p.m 10 past 2 and yeah you just you out there so if you get another request you're like okay i'm already here like me i'm i i kind of like need to recharge my bicycle in between but in like a couple of hours it can be done uh, and be ready for the like 6 p.m shift and thing like that so you know you're out there uh, every now and then i would even like get a request that gets me closer to home you're actually never really sure about that but but uh, you know like i say you're out there making a bit of money you're like okay i'll just make a couple bucks more and stay after the incentive which is something i'm starting to like not do anymore because i don't want to play in their games because i really feel like it's not 100 percent fair in that regard so that was my point so in conclusion i really i, I have like significant evidence that i'm, I'm sh i've shown you in this video that they're actually not doing something that could save them money in terms of like holding on to requests before the promotion ends but they're definitely managing their fleet with that promotion thing and it would be fairer and it would help people make not a lot more money but just a tiny bit more money if they would shift it 30 minutes 30 minutes is usually to me like about two deliveries which means each time it's like not done if i'm if i would get them it could be around like 50 cents or something maybe maybe more depending on the on the deliveries that i get but like around 50 cents to a dollar per shift that they're kind of like saving because of their system you know and it might not look like a lot for me as the alone guy just doing my thing it could it would help me over time but to them because they have like hundreds and thousands of people just delivering for them it actually ends up like piling up and saving them a whole bunch of money so that's definitely my suspicion uh, about uh, the conclusion uh, the title was maybe a bit misguided like misleading but and you might consider it clickbait if you do sorry about that but that's my view on the uber Eats system and how it is actually screwing you or not screwing you in terms of that incentive i hope you liked it i hope uh like if you have any comments of the contrary, if like if you want to argue that what I'm saying is actually not not your not the case for you, because there is a lot of people uh, out there having probably different experiences and everything, just pop a comment below. We can start having converse, a conversation. I would be really curious to see like if you if you have the same conclusion as I do. Uh, if you like this kind of video, just maybe put a thumbs up. It helps me. I'm like I'm pretty small on YouTube right now, but hoping to not not really hoping to get up but it's just interesting to see like what people actually like as videos to see like if i keep doing videos about uber eats or not and yeah just thanks for watching guys remember that if it's easy it's not funny and see you in the next video